Now, let's see this question. In the circuit shown below, the node voltage VA is. He is asking node voltage VA is. Now, let us see how many nodal equations will come and how many machine. Directly, the moment they asked VA, the moment they asked VA, output requirement is voltage. That is one advantage. Keep it aside. Okay. Normally, if the circuit is this, let us go with mesh analysis. How many meshes are there? One, two, three. Three meshes are there. Out of three meshes, one current source is there. One current source is there. Means that super mesh will be formed. One relation will come saying like if it is I1, if it is I2, I2 minus I1 equal to 5 amperes, one relation will come. So two times you are supposed to write equations if you go with mesh analysis. Okay. Now if you go with nodal analysis, how many nodes are there? One, right? One, two, three, four okay so the moment they asked va here the moment they asked va here 5 ohms and 5 ohms can be connected in series okay so the moment 5 and 5 are connected in series it will become 10 so this node will vanish now how many nodes are there maybe this is going to be reference node this is going to be va node VA node and this is not required and this is not required because with respect to reference this is directly 10 volts because voltage source is directly connected with respect to reference and here also voltage source is directly connected with respect to reference so with only one nodal equation you will be able to solve the problem and the output of the nodal equation is voltage only and they ask for voltage only getting my point right so we should not go with mesh analysis here because mesh three equations out of that two direct equations and one relation one relation that relation also is not direct relation like i1 equal to 5 i2 equal to 5 not, nothing like that but rather i2 minus i1 equal to 5 so it's also a complicated thing okay if you go with nodal analysis with re, if you think of this as reference this node i need not apply what they say nodal analysis at all or kcl at all because directly means voltage source is connected with respect to reference voltage source is connected with respect to reference so this node i need not consider this node i need not consider this i have to consider and this anyway i need not consider so only one nodal equation problem will be solved okay so let us go with nodal analysis let us go with nodal analysis so this is va and this is reference this is reference and here and here i need not take and they are asking node voltage of va only okay now if i apply kv kcl here va by 5 is the leaving current va by 5 plus and here leaving current is minus 5 so minus 5 leaving current and after that this is over this is over this how much is the leaving current here va plus 10 i1 or minus 10 i1 okay basically va see here this voltage source is trying to drive the current more in this direction so 10 plus 10 i1 by 5 so plus va plus 10 i1 divided by 5 because if the positive is an upper side and negative is in lower side under that condition va minus 10 i1 but negative is an upper side and positive is on uh, bottom side so va plus 10 i1 by 5 this current is over and this current is va minus 10 by 10 plus plus va minus 10 by 10 equal to 0 you can calculate va means only one unknown is i 10 i1 okay so va plus 10 i1 this is 10 i1 so what is i1 controlling variable okay so what is i1 i1 is going to va minus 10 by 10 va minus 10 by 10 is going to be the controlling variable i1 so if you keep your i1 here and if you solve for va you are going to get the answer okay that va that va i got it as 11.42 volts 11.42 volts that is the answer that's it